What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I got a quick little unboxing for you guys today. But there's a story behind this unboxing that I'm going to kind of fill you in a little bit and uh, before we open this up. So, a while back, my friend Craig was doing his thing with magnets. And, uh, you know, he wanted some scales and stuff to practice on and try, you know, to get you know, tune them just right and get it just right. So I sent him this knife to do. I sent him some original goat scales to do, some OEM scales. And I sent him this whole knife to do. And um, while he had this knife, he took it upon himself to send it off to, I believe he sent it to weigh a knife, to have the liners and the shark like uh, DLC coated for me so everything's blacked out. And that was so awesome of him to do. I didn't ask him to do it, he just did it. So I decided I wanted to return the favor. So, what's in this box comes back to me from Way of Knife, but it's been somewhere else before Way of Knife. This one's been to a couple different places to have a couple different modifications done. So, let's jump right in. Unboxing knife is the Spartan Blades Talus. Great little budget knife. Well, about 100 bucks, but for CTS XHP, great little knife. Very similar to the uh, Harsi 3.5 three, uh, three inch, I believe it is. At least the form factor of it is, so... Super lightweight, too, this one is. So, all right. Let me make sure there's no identifying. Oh, I got more tape to cut. I cut the sides. Washer action, too. Glassy, glassy, smooth washer action. And paper. Okay, we got some penis, peanuts in there. Hold on a second. I gotta figure out how to get to this thing. Get that in there that in there and then just a bunch of penis oh got that in there hmm. give me just a second I spilled my peanuts I gotta clean my peanuts off all right so hmm. I've never seen anything the way a knife before I've never even seen any of my own knives off so this was Craig's knife I hope he likes what I did with it I know he's gonna like one thing I did I did to it for him because he was talking about doing it already and uh let me grab something here. So I know he's going to like that one thing. I think he'll really like the second thing also. It is not a note knife. Uh, give you a hint. I already replaced, did one thing to it. I replaced the uh, show side scale on it for him. And then uh, here it is. Oh. The Chris Reeves Smong Kosi. If you notice, it looks different than it should look. There used to be thumb stud there. Now has a hole. So way a knife put the hole in the blade. Uh and before it went to weigh a knife it went to uh, bgm regrinds and i had a new hollow grind put on it a thinner hollow grind than it comes with from uh, chris reeves so uh, this thing is going to be super super slicey the br uh, blade looks brand new now too and this is a uh, i put this scale on here before i sent it off this is a uh, get good screw uh, gold dark matter scale for the Inkosi. get good screw cells uh scales now for certain models so pretty cool this turned out great man Let's see if i can get that light a little better for you guys it looks so good with that hole in there oh. one thing about the chris reeves knives is that they have that or at least this one did that little triangle thumb stud it's like it comes to a point it's only on one side it was so uncomfortable it's terrible this is much better yeah, you can flick it with some effort, but honestly, slow rolls where it's really at with these. So, by the time you guys see this video and it goes live, uh, Craig will already have this knife back. I want him to see it in person first before he sees it in video. So, I'm going to send this back to him and I'll schedule this video to go live after he has this and uh, get his thoughts on it. So, yeah, what do you guys think? You know, I think that's pretty good. I think it looks good. I thought about he likes things to match, so obviously he gets his old scale back too. But if he doesn't like this, he can sell it or do something else with it. Or I think would look cool would be uh, DLC coat the titanium black and maybe do the pocket clip, uh, anodize it gold. I don't know. It looks good this way too, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it turned out great. Way a knife did a great job. So did BGM uh, regrinds. Did fantastic work. Beautiful, beautiful finish on that blade. Looks brand spanking new. It's going to be super thin now. 
I told him to make it as thin as he can make it and it not affect, you know, causing negative uh, problems for the knife. And yeah, look, you could tell it used to have a fatter tip, right? The tip used to be fatter and now it's just like a hollow grind straight through, straight through. Awesome. This thing's going to be such a good slicer. This is going to be a user for him too. All right. He may change his mind now, but he said this was going to be a user. So this will be a great little user. Lightweight. Great, great, great blade, man. That thing's going to slice so well. I'm not going to cut anything with it because I want him to get it the way I received it back from Way of Knife. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I got a big unboxing coming. I got a bunch of knives in from a, a manufacturer, a smaller manufacturer, more budget manufacturer. But I think they're four knives they sent. So we do an unboxing for that very soon. Actually, you may have already seen that by now. Yeah, I take. don't worry about that. You'll see that video long before you see this one. I got to ship these this back to Craig. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you do want to get a regrind done, check out BGM regrinds on Instagram. I'll link their Instagram down below. Also check out way of knife for whole mods and they do milling. They do all kinds of stuff at way of knife. Um, and then also check out Craig on Instagram, Saigon kick 2018. They'll all be linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next one.